Yeah, I got it. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Matt here from Buckets and Boards. And today we're going to be starting a brand new series of lessons. And today's lesson, super duper beginning intro drumming and other things, basic rudiments. Official title. You ready? Let's do this. What is up, everybody? Thanks for coming to the channel. And what we're going to be doing today is basic entry level percussion. Super little kids. I have a six year old daughter actually upstairs who wants to learn how to drum. This would be stuff that I would teach her. We're going to do how to hold the drumsticks, very beginner rudiment patterns and stuff like that. So what you're going to need for today is a pair of drumsticks. A pair of drumsticks. Actually, if you don't have drumsticks, what you can also use is your legs. Your body is actually another really cool thing that you can use as an instrument. I'm going to be doing a lesson on body percussion as well. You can make all kinds of sounds. Yay! So if you have a pair of drumsticks, we'll use those today. Parents, if you are interested in getting something for your kids that want to learn how to play percussion, we are actually endorsed by Vader Percussion. Vader is our go-to stick. These are five Bs. You can get any drumstick that you want, though. Another good thing for your sanity, though, is to get a practice pad. And I will put a link in the description below if anybody's interested in getting some of these things for their kids. Another thing, because we are called buckets and boards, the main thing we play in our show is buckets. Yay! And they are way cheaper if you go to Walmart or Home Depot and get some of those as well. So let's get started. What do you say? What we're going to do first is I'm going to show you practice pad and what it does. So here is just regular drumsticks. I'm going to play it on our barrel. Really loud. Practice pad. Yeah. That will help with your sanity. There's also another cool side. It's a, a little bit harder. This is kind of more like one of the Kevlar marching snare heads. So another thing that you can use, which is very cool, we use these when we travel, doing all of our shows if you're in hotel rooms or all kinds of stuff. But Vader Percussion as well also has these little rubberized practice tips. So these are some of our drumsticks, basically. You take them and you can put them on any drumstick right on the tip, bloop, and it'll turn this into this. So to start the lesson off for today, what we're going to do is how to hold your drumstick. Here's how I hold my drumsticks. I know there's a couple different ways. I'm going to show you two ways that I really like. Um, when I was growing up, this is how they kind of taught me, is you grab your drumstick kind of between your fingers, wrap your hands around. Let me show you kind of what that looks like. You're going to be using some of your, your fingers down here to help with some of the drumming as well. And so once you're in this position, which looks very bizarre, you just kind of dance like a walrus. Actually, don't do that because people will think you're weird. Actually, people are going to think you're weird because you're a drummer anyway. So let's get back in that position. And what you're going to do is basically just turn your hands over. Ba blam. What you're going to make is like a V shape right here. And what you're going to want to do is kind of keep your drumsticks. I know I let mine go a little crazy right there. You're going to want to keep them, keep them in this V pattern in kind of a two inch radius right there. Because that will help keeping in the same area, you're going to get a consistent sound. And it's a lot of wrist movement. So you're going to want to do a lot of wrist. It's a little bit of the forearm muscles as well. And that, that way you can get that cool looking stick up, down. Oh! Some of that's going a little all over the place. You might not want to go that far. Uh, so you're going to want to work on wrist. If you end up doing the whole arm, you're going to use so much more muscle stuff. You're going to get tired way faster, and that's not going to be any fun. The other favorite way that I like to hold my drumstick is called traditional. So basically, if you take your drumstick, um, and you're going to hold it, put it this way in your hand, you're going to put your finger on top, thumb kind of around, and then it's going to rest a little bit on this ring finger over here. So it's going to kind of make this look almost like you're holding a, a pencil, but in a, a very bizarre fashion. So this is traditional. And so a lot of people used to play the drums, but the drums, instead of being flat like this, they were tilted. So you had to play like this. 
But it kind of looks like you'll see a lot of you'll see a lot of marching bands play this way. Bam! Yeah, I got it in almost the right position. So this is traditional. I like playing that way. You can play match if you want to. So match, traditional. Match, traditional. Nice. I keep I keep looking at my camera on this side over here. So if you keep seeing my eyes wander, it's because I'm watching myself just making sure that I'm in the frame. Totally unnecessary. Okay, so let's start with our very first pattern. This is called the single stroke roll. I'm gonna try to put that in there digitally. I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but we'll see after the fact. So single stroke roll is just basically one hit on each hand. So you're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So now do it with me. You can play on your legs or if you have drumsticks, you can play wherever you're playing. So ready? Ready, go, right, left. I tend to dance around sometimes when I'm playing the drums. I don't know how you guys do it. This way it makes you look like you're really going at it. Right, left, 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 left. Whatever you want to do. Drumming is all about showing your creativity and expressing your emotions. And that's what's cool about drumming is drumming has a lot of different dynamics. You can play really soft. Or if you're in a metal band, you can be like. All of those things work. Which one's going to drive your parents crazy? I'll let you guess. Now we're going to go to the second part, which is double stroke roll, double stroke roll, which is exactly the same as single, but just two hits on each hand. So we're going to go like this, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. You ready? Let's do it together. And ready, go, right, right. Very good, guys. Oh, very, very good, guys. Ah. Parents, another great tool, no matter what instrument your kids play, is I have a metronome on my phone. You can buy all different brands of these. And so basically, what a metronome does is help you keep in time. 90 beats per minute. And so any song you're playing, this will help you stay in rhythm. Nice. Sometimes this is the hardest thing for kids to learn, is just how to stay in rhythm with a song. So if you get a metronome, you can do exactly what we were just doing before. So you're gonna go right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Oh, about lost my phone there for a second. So that is a metronome, super duper handy. You know what, let's try one more. Let's add three hits on each hand. You guys have done such a great job. Such a great job. Such a great job. So this will be kind of like a triplet pattern. So you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, ready? Let's play together. Here we go. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. One. And jazz hands. That's the best way to end any number. Gareth and I have realized over the years is if you finish a number, you just go, yeah, and people clap because they know that your number is over at that point. And plus, people just love jazz hands. Yeah. All right, guys, great job today. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, bing, and hit the button below. That way you'll get all of the information and updates that we post. We're gonna start doing a lot more lessons in the future. So if this is something you're interested in, Feel free to follow along. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. For watching? We'll see you on the next video. Huh.